was the type of thing he had dreamed of growing up as a kid in Italy. And now with all the pieces coming together for a deep playoff run, the Lakers were finally the favorite to win it all. And four teams stood between them and the ultimate goal. Matching up in the first round with the entertaining but inexperienced Sacramento Kings, the Lakers set the tone for the series early, with Shaq continuing his dominant play in Game 1, scoring 46 points and grabbing 17 boards in a 10-point win. However, the Kings weren't willing to lay down, winning back-to-back -back games in Sacramento and pushing the Lakers to a winner-takes-all Game 5. Kobe had been hot throughout the series, scoring over 30 points in three straight games. And with the series returning to the Staples Center, LA was able to put together a 27-point win to close out the series. The second round provided a unique challenge for Los Angeles, with former All-Star and Shaq teammate Penny Hardaway leading a Phoenix Suns team that featured future Hall of Famer Jason Kidd and the talented Clifford Robinson. The Suns were fresh off upsetting the defending NBA champion Spurs in round one, and now had their sights set on ending the title hopes of yet another top Western Conference team. Shaq and Kobe came out strong in game one, scoring a combined 62 points in a convincing win to take a 1-0 series lead. But the Suns would come out firing in game two, with Phoenix having a strong performance from a duo of their own, as Penny Hardaway and Robertson put together a 57 point outburst that had them in the lead with only 21 seconds remaining. Despite only having 13 points on 10 shots, Kobe ended up with the ball in his hands for the last possession, and the Staples Center was on its feet. They're going to take it off the dribble. This is it now. Game's on the line. You're down one. Kobe Bryant at the point on a 1 4 offensive formation. Kobe Bryant pulls up for the shot and hits the basket with 2.6 to go, giving the Lakers the lead. Kobe Bryant with 15 points made the biggest basket of the year for the Lakers. Tell me a little bit about that shot. Well, I just brought the ball up the court and I looked up at the clock and uh, had enough time to kind of keep the floor spread and penetrate, get into the gap, see if I could create something. And uh, fortunately, I hit the shot. The biggest shot of Bryant's career at the time would be enough to swing the momentum in Los Angeles' favor, and after splitting games in Phoenix, the Lakers would close out the series with a 22-point win at home, securing them a spot in the Western Conference Finals. Waiting for Shaq and Kobe in the showdown of top teams in the West was a talented Portland Trailblazers team who had managed to put together a 59-win regular season. Led by six-time NBA champion and future Hall of Famer Scottie Pippen, who had been a large part of the dynasty Phil Jackson coached in Chicago, the Blazers also featured a pair of exciting young players in Rasheed Wallace and Damon Stoudemire, who had just begun to enter their primes. The group was fresh off eliminating the conference's traditional powerhouse, the Utah Jazz 4-1 and their combination of experience and skill would prove to be the Lakers' greatest challenge yet. 